It's also quite a new poem, so if I forget, please pick me up where I left off. Yes, thank you. You're in charge. Okay, thank you. I know, I know, I know, I know, I don't know a lot about, 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 about politics, I know. But what I do know is I'll let you know, and I know that you probably already know what I know, but I'm just letting you know what I know, because I know, I know. There's a Westminster, I know there's a Downing Street, I know there's an office, I know there's a cabinet, but hey, I've got a cabinet in my front room, big deal. I know we've got something in common, because they've got the House of Commons, and I've got a house, and that's really quite common. But I know, that's about as far as it goes, because I know we're from a completely different ilk. I mean, they even taken Robert Kilroy Silk. I know there's a guy called Dave, and I know that Dave's got a pet poodle called Nick. I know there's a backbench, I know there's a Chancellor of the Exchequer, I know there was a saucy Edwina Curry home wrecker. I know there's a Paxman, I know there's bankers, and I like to call those bankers something that rhymes with bankers, but it's not bankers, and it's not fuel disputing tankers, but it's all about the bankers. All right! Fat, greedy wankers. I know there's a question time. I know there's a big question. They argue about things like traffic congestion, of which there's a, a controversial charge. I know there's a character called Boris at large. The exchange between he and a guy called Ken can get quite fruity, quite fiery, with stern looks. I know there's a call sort of Brooks and Levison inquiry. I know they're going to gonna put tax on a good old Cornish pasty. Really? Well, that's just nasty. I know, I know there's a finance minister who appears to be rather sinister. I know there's chauffeur driven cars, I know there's expensive shirts and ties and abundance of lies. We need answers, not underhand tactics and private dancers. I know there was a hung parliament, but saddened when I realised it wasn't literal. I hope that they were hung upside down so we could shake them all around and their purses, their wallets, their spare change would fall to the ground. That way we might just get some of our fucking money back. I know they're pumping more and more into unnecessary war, excessively disused property, and not enough to combat poverty. I know when the shit hits the fan, we'll be left to carry the shake and can to clean up the mess. But it's all right as long as we can form and just say yes. I know that the justice system is all messed up, ridiculous decisions, and who can do more? The politicians, but they don't, because when a police officer at the G20 summit pushes an innocent man to the ground, moments later that man died. Murder, surely, at the very least, manslaughter. But hey, they say, wrong time, wrong place. Either way, it's a fucking disgrace as he walks from court a free man. And you know as the day is long, it is so wrong. But when a single mum steals bread from the shop to feed the starving mouths of her children, she'll get punished. I mean, where is the justice? When the next generation stab and gun each other down, left to rot to drown in the pool of their own blood to die. Guess who turns a blind eye? And I know, I know, I don't know a lot about politics, I know. And I know that you probably already know what I know, but I'm just letting you know what I know. And I think I know what is wrong, and I think I know what is right. And I think I know that they need to open their eyes and see what is going on. Have a look around and listen to us, the people, the people. And I will shout it because I think at the day the politicians could do something about it. But hey, speaking as one of the people, what do I know? Thank you.